My name is Pradeep Singh and uh, I'm a current WBC Asian middleweight champion. And I'm the only only boxer from India who's who has the title in professional boxing. They selected me as uh, as a boxer of the, to participate in the Conrad Games. It was 26th November 2004. I remember that we were at the airport, Delhi airport, and the the secretary of Indian Boxing Federation he came at the airport and said, "Who is Pradeep Singh?" I said, "That's me." He said, "Pradeep, Pradeep is not going, uh, not representing India. He's not going to Australia." And I said. I said, why? He said, uh, your boxing has been banned. You can't fight as an amateur anymore in, in, uh, in India or anywhere else. And I remember myself coming, walking from, from Delhi airport, 2 a.m. in the night, nearly six kilometers walking and just crying because my dream was collapsed. Uh, they killed my dream. And I, all I wanted to do is become a world champion. I came to Australia. I was 17 years old. I didn't have the I didn't have money to buy the ticket. It was my dad who sold his property to buy me a ticket to fly to Australia. I catch a bus to Melbourne. I came here and I was just walking on the street. I saw a gym which was written boxing. I went inside that gym and start throwing some punches. The trainer came in and he asked me, are you a boxer? And I said, uh, I shake my head. And I start sparring and I did really good sparring. And then he said, Pratip, keep uh, training for me. He sponsored me and he asked me to stay there and fight for him. I had no food to eat. And all the way I had, all the way I had is just to box. But I got the chance to fight again. And that's what I wanted. 115, your winner and the new OPBF middleweight champion comes from the blue corner. My dad was a wrestler. And when he, when he was at his prime and they were going in international championship, one of his teammates uh, mixed the poison into his milk. He never wanted to remember that. Every time he tried to remember, he, we tried to ask him, he got too emotional with that. He couldn't digest his food for four years, and that's why he has to quit wrestling. And, and I remember when we were kids, every day my dad used to come from the office, a bottle of alcohol in his hand and he was drunk, always every day come home, fight with my mom, fight with everyone, just his frustration, just uh, because he couldn't, he couldn't do what he wanted to do. His dream was, was dying inside. 
I always used to see my dad uh, watching the sports and the TV and start crying. There were tears in his eyes and, and I, I asked him, uh, can I do for you? Can I play sport for you? Can I be a world champion for you? I just want to win the world, world championship uh, for my dad and just want to give it to him, the title belt. That's the purpose of my life. And that's why I started boxing and even today, uh, that's what I, what I think. Every day I train. Because uh, I just think I owe something to my dad. Nakamura says never competed in Muay Thai or kickboxing. Oh, he's just for her. He's legged her gone. He's legged her gone. He's touched his glove touch. Yes, his glove touched the ground. A right from Falcon Bulma and Pradeep Singh with another good shot. A left-handed fan that's smart.